This call is now being recorded. Okay, good day class. So our topic for today's discussion is the night audit. So this would be your laboratory exercise number eight. So auditing is nothing but conducting financial inspection of the organization. For hotel uh, business, the finance management starts at the front office. So accurate cost posting of transaction on the guest folios start at the front office, which is further carried to the back office, which is the accounting department. So the guest accounts are counter check on a daily basis during auditing. So experts recommend the hotel management team to go through the night audit reports daily to get an insight of the hotel occupancy and finances. So let us see what night auditing is and the details about uh, the process of the night audit. So what is night audit? So it is the process of auditing where the night auditor reviews all financial activities of the hotel that has taken place in one day. So the auditing process for the day is generally conducted at the end of the day during the following night. Hence the name night audit. Okay, so it can be performed by, by the conventional method of using papers, um, receipts, vouchers, coupons, and other files. But performing audit using the modern PMS system is easy fast and efficient. So the objective of the night audit is to evaluate the hotel's financial activities. So um, night, night audit not only reviews guest account uh, by checking credit and debit, but also track the credit limits of the guest. And after um, tracking the credit limits of the guest, they, are, they should also tally the projected and actual sales from the uh, various departments. So night audit uh, reviews daily cash flow into and out of the hotel's account. So it is also called the end of day close or end of day closing. Because a night audit, it has a large significance in hotel business operations. Um, the management body refers night audit report to uh, plan future goals and control the expenses so the managers can react immediately on the acquired information so these are the basic activities during the night audit okay so the night audit performs the following steps during night audit activities so first posting accommodation and tax charges second accumulating guest service charges and payments. Third, setting financial activities of various departments. Fourth, setting the accounts receivables. And fifth, running the trial balance for the day. And lastly, preparing the night audit report. So as a result of night audit process, the management of an establishment can monitor the activity of every department on a daily basis and not to have wait until the end of financial failure. So this allows a kind of quick response to potential problems or losses and provide accurate information on which to base business decisions. So these are the responsibilities of a night auditor. So one of its responsibility is to take over from the last shift and then checking in or checking out the guest after 11 p.m. at night, um, registering the guest, allocating accommodations to newly checked in guests, uh, settling transactions in the newly created guest account, uh, verifying guest full use, um, verifying room status report, um, balancing all paperwork with the account in the PMS, um, remaining liable for security of the premises, handling guest accommodation keys, taking backup of the PMS generated reports, preparing list of expected guest arrival for the next day, closing financial activities for the, a day, 
starting financial activities for the next day and receiving and recording bank deposit. So basically, um, responsibility of the night order, audit, auditor or, or auditor is to verify the mga information taken, taken by the daily shift and then preparing kung unsa nasad ang um, kanang activity or mga necessary documents na kailangan na gamiton for the next um, activity or for the next day na sad. Okay, so type of audit, uh, type of night audit reports include the night audit accommodation reports. So it gives a snapshot of the days when accommodation are occupied. So the days when with accommodation are available, the check-ins and check-outs, no shows and cancellation. So basically this type of re report shows the uh, who are those guests na check in kinsa tong ni check out kinsa to ang wala ni ni abot and then kinsa to ang ni cancelled nga kanang guest but only uh, but it only gives a snapshot okay so dili kay siya ingon nga kanang detailed ang information ani niya second night audit counter report so it gives detail on cash and credit card receipt and withdrawals so now uh, today the PMS helps night auditor to a great great extent in auditing and generating um accurate reports because na anamagod sila um na ang PMS din na anamagod siya system but still uh, even if na anay system ang PMS um it is one of the responsibility to of night auditor to kanang verify the information uh, generated by the PMS. The third one is the night audit revenue report. Okay, so uh, this type of report, uh, it delivers information on accommodation revenue, um, cancellation and no show revenue, and other POS revenue. So uh, revenue generated through various agencies and bodies such as kanang mga travel agents, mga corporate organizations, um, internet bookings, and others. Okay, so it is also listed in this report. Fourth, night audit tax report. So it contains all the tax information on reservation revenue and other POS revenue such as VAT, mga luxury ta tax, and other uh, service tax. Fifth, cashers report. So it is the detailed list of cashier activity of the cash influx and outflux. So credit cards and PMS total. So cashier's report is very important part of the financial control system of a hotel. So the front office manager uh, reviews the night audit and looks for any di divergences between the actual amount received and the PMS total. So sixth is the manager's report. So it is a statical list of previous daily occupancy. So it includes uh, details about available accommodations, um, occupied accommodations, sold and vacated accommodations, uh, rack rate, the number of guests in the hotel, and the number of no-shows, and so on. Okay. So another type of night audit report is the general manager's reports so uh, each department in the hotel is required to send daily sales report to the front office so using this information a uh, departmental total report is generated for the general manager's assessment so it's the responsibility of the general manager to determine the profit uh, generating departments and evaluate the success of the sales and marketing department another type of Night audit report is the high balance report. So this is a detailed report about the guests who have exceeded the credit limit set by the hotel management. Okay, another type of night audit report is the ledger balance summary report. So this type of report uh, displays the opening and closing balances of the advanced deposit ledger, the guest ledger, and the city ledger so advanced deposit uh, ledger so these are the advanced deposit made by the guest okay and then the guest ledger so this in ledger is what contains all the information okay uh, information 
sa guest nga ni stay sa sa, sa ka hotel and then another type of night audit is the room rate audit report so it lists all rates that are applied to each guest and the difference from the rack rate with a predetermined rack code so there's a code for every rate given to the kanang certain nga guest or bisan kali ang kanang mga rates to the different room okay so mao na siya na asay mga predetermined code to identify kung kinsa ang guest nga na ay higher paying um room and those guests nga regular la ang paying pay bayad nila sa usa ka room Okay, so those are the type of the night audit report. So now let us proceed to the process of night audit. Okay, so um, from the guest transaction to the cash sales transaction and the credit transactions, all of the information from those uh, transactions will be balanced by the cashier. So this is the formula. So the night auditor's balance equals guest account plus revenue producing department or RPD equals the total revenue. So, so in conducting this um, formula or in doing this uh, formula or in computing this, it could be both, uh, it could be through manual system or the computerized system. So the steps are essentially the same using the manual or the semi-automated or even the computerized system. So the main difference is that uh, ang manual system, uh, all informations are general, uh, generated manually. So manual did ka nga mag-compute, Anna. While computerized system, um, information is being generated automatically. So with little uh, with little or no help from the audit auditor. Okay, so room rate and status discrepancies. Okay, so depending on the type of discrepancy is located, if the guest account is affected in any way, then a record must be kept of what the error was and what action was taken. So many establishments use a docket or a voucher called a credit voucher to document and adjustment. So this will help record not only the type of charges and amount being corrected, but a descriptor or explanation as well. So another method is of recording discrepancy is using the guest folio discrepancy. So this is an example of credit voucher. So there uh, it shows an explanation or reason why ang discrepancy niya. So based on the given example, uh, the explanation is the overcharge on room charge. Okay, so na overcharge ang pag charge nila sa room. So be, oh, stated na yun ha, the date, the room number, and then naapun siya control sa iyahang folio number, and then the docket number. Okay? Then naka encode po diha ang charge code o pila ang amount. Then after filling the credit voucher, then the guest would provide his or her signature as well as the cashier. And after that, it would be authorized by the higher management na. Okay, so um, this record all discrepancies on guest account for one day. So at the end of the day, the night auditor will file the report with the rest of the daily documentation for later references and checking. So if a charge need to be added to the guest account, the appropriate docket for the type of charge can be used with an explanation. Okay, and the change and the charge posted as per normal procedure. So muna siya ang example. Okay, so when posting room charges, um, the night auditor will check that the quoted room rate is still applicable. So after posting all departmental charges, a night auditor will take each guest account and post the accommodation charges shown on the folio. If there is a discrepancy between the guest information and room rate to be charged, the night auditor must determine which is correct and make appropriate adjustment, ensuring that the adjustment is documented. So, for example, has the guest asked for extra services that will charge the room rate, an extra bed, an extra sharing, or omona siya? So, okay. So, omona siya kay extra bed, 
is kuan man siya upon request man lang na siya. So, dili man siya included sa rate sa room. So, kung ang guest na request siya extra bed, then again na na siya additional charges. So, it would be the night auditor's duty to post uh, room charges regarding on the extra bed requested by the guest. Okay. So, another, okay. so, a night auditor can perform a bucket check. Okay. So, uh, under gihap po niya sa posting room charges by cross-referencing the information and actual guest registration cards against the hotel that in the hotel property management system to identify the discrepancies on guest information and services availed. So here, bucket check is another way of um, finding kung unsa ang discrepancies para makita kung asa dapit ang discrepancy. Okay, so by by um, getting the information, you can sa actual ng registration card and then i compare just sa PMS okay mo na siya o sana siya sa way trial balance okay so the night auditor must ensure all transaction balance so bookkeeping works on the basis of double entry that is the total of debit must equal to the total of credit so to obtain a balance for the day both credit and debit column must be equal so posting of charges to guest account it is debit. Recording all cash received, it is debit. Recording of sales from the various departments, so it is credit. Okay. Now, let's proceed to guest credit limit. So once a night auditor has completed posting charges to guest accounts, he or she will check the outstanding balance or amount owned on each guest folio. So if the outstanding balance is under the floor limit, so there will be no further, further action to be taken. Where if it is over, so the night auditor will complete an overcredit limit report, which is given to the front office manager for investigation the next day. So this is an example of the overcredit limit report. Okay, so uh based on the given example uh, prepared by which is the name of the, the night auditor the folio which is um a controlled number or the number of the kind of specific guests sa ilahang information room number the name mode of payment ang balance niya o pila ang na over okay so naka reflect na siya diha so the credit limit in computerized system will usually flash signaling an alert. Okay, so let us proceed to the occupancy. So this measures the percentage of rooms occupied in a property. So it can be used to measure the volume of business generated by guests and revenue producing departments. Comparing sales figures with the occupancy. So it provides information for management on which to base budgetary con considerations. Um, it also indicates how successfully the sales and front office staff are selling the room. So the formula in getting the occupancy percentage is this one. So number of rooms occupied divided by the total number of rooms available times 100. So equals occupancy percentage per <clears throat> siya. So example, the occupancy rate of a hotel which has 141 rooms occupied of its 186 available room. So the so the number of rooms occupi occupied is 141 and then the total number of rooms available is 186 times 100. So the occupancy percentage is 76% out of 100. So <clears throat> it must be remembered that 
Room occupancy may be calculated differently according to the way in which out-of-order rooms and free of charge rooms are handled. So you should find out first what a policy what a policy establishment have before cal calculating the room occupancy percentage. So in terms of double or multiple room occupancy, so this <clears throat> this statistic is used to determine linen and guest amenity requirements. Uh, food and beverage stock requirement and potential revenue outlet outlets. So, nani siya duha ka method for calculating this ratio. So, same uh, same example. So, this is a uh, modi siya ang ihang formula for the option one. So, number of guests divide by the number of rooms occupied minus the number of rooms occupied times 100, that would be the multiple occupancy percentage. So same example, okay, so the number of guests would be 189 minus 141, divide 141 times 100. So the multiple occupancy per percentage for the given example is 40.4% of all occupied rooms have more than one person in them. Okay, so, na so out of 100, next stay sa hotel na ay 40.4% nga nag-occupy sa room nga more than one sila okay the second option would be number of paid guests divided by the number of room occupied okay that would be the average guest per room occupied so same sa example same sa given example, so 189 divided by 141, so there would be 1.4 guests per room. Okay? So, muna siya. So, in terms of average room rate, so the formula is net room revenue divided by the number of rooms occupied equals to average room rate. So, example, <clears throat> The average room rate per room occupied is based on the actual amount of revenue divided by the number of rooms that were occupied. So, magha, um, maghatag yung house, magamit kaya punta sa uh, example, naghihatag sa previous nga mga discussions. And then, let's assume nga ang room revenue sa Osaka Hotel is 50,000. Okay, so 50,000 divided by 141, that would be 354. So this uh, it, this average room rate is used to show how much, on average, each occupied room is generating in revenue and is very important statistic when forecasting future room revenue. So it is also used to determine sales strategies and marketing promotions. Okay, so average rate per guest. So the formula would be net, net room revenue divided by the number of guests. That would be the average rate per guest. So same example, 50,000 divided by 198 equals to 252.5. So let's assume nga ang same, the room revenue would be 50,000 and then the number of guests would be 198. Okay, so mauna siya ang result, 252.5. So average rate per guest um, indicates how much on average each guest spends or pays for an accommodation. So it can be used to show kanang how uh, spending patterns or the particular type of guest, especially when used in conjunction food and beverage information. Okay, so this statistic is not used as frequent as occupancy percentage and average room rate. Okay, so maulang to siya ang mga computations in order to identify the average rate per guest, um, <clears throat> to identify the average room rate, uh, to identify the katong double or multiple room occupancy if na ay ka nang exist or na ay kay mostly manggod na amag yung mga joiner. Okay, so para ma-identify na sa hotel, so mo nila ang kitaon. And then the double or multiple occupancy, maulang to siya. And then the occupancy. Okay, let us now proceed to
other operational reports produced by the night auditor. Okay, so first, daily room revenue summary report. So this type of report provides summary of accommodation revenue and the number of guests staying in the property. Second, daily revenue report. So it is the summary of all revenue earned in the property that day. It can also be called the daily operations report or daily activity report. And third, in-house activity report. So this report uh, is prepared for staff information in all areas of the establishment. Um, it also indicates the number and type of guests arriving, staying, and departing the establishment that day. It will often indicate major groups, mga conferences, and other activities taking place within the establishment. Another one is the arrival and departure list. So this is essential report for housekeeping and the front office department because um, it is sometimes compiled as two separate reports uh, depending on the size of the property and the number of arrivals and departure. In-house guest list. So this report uh, lists all guests who are registered in the establishment. So it lists basic details of guests, special packages, and any other details deemed necessary by an establishment. Okay, and then lastly, the room status list. So the room status list will indicate which room in the establishment are vacant, um, ready vacant, um, dirty occupied, uh, clear occupied, dirty out of order or <clears throat> for room makeup okay mo na siya mga other reports um made or to be conducted by the night auditor report a night auditor okay so for your laboratory exercise number eight you just have to answer the following question okay number one mrs tang has settled her account and departed the night auditor has to post a late charge to <coughs> Mrs. Tang credit card as she neglect neglected to pay for her mini bar account. So you're going to draft an email explaining to Mrs. Tang what has been done and why. Okay, so you have to state on the letter. Kung unsay mga nahita po, nga nung wala na charge, and then unsa po yung process in, char in doing the charges. Second, the Panoramic Hotel is a modern, elegant, four-style hotel overlooking the sea. Perfect for a romantic, charming vacation in the enchanting setting of Tower Mina and the Ionian Sea. So Panoramic Hotel consists of 535 rooms, three convention halls, a garden for a special event, and two restaurants. Okay, so last December 24, 2017, before the Christmas season, the hotel occupancy of rooms lead to 500 rooms occupied and earned 1 million as hotel revenue in just one night with 5,000 guests. So the sales prove that Panoramic Hotel is in demand and satisfy the guests as there were no negative feedback from the customer. So compute the following um, computation. So you have to con co com compute <clears throat> the occupancy rate. You have to compute the double or multiple room occupancy, uh, both option one and option two. And then you have to compute the average room rate and then the average rate per guest. Okay, so Malana Shir active yung buhato sa activity number eight. Okay, so deadline for the submission would be next meeting or next week based on your laboratory schedule. So that would be all for today's discussion on the night auditor topic. So uh, see you on our, see you or can um, see you on our next lesson.